Are you serious? Hey guys, this is X Andrew 2007 x with a very cool modding video for the PlayStation 4. Before I get further in the video, I would greatly appreciate if you guys have a like, as well as a comment, so it's my channel, as well as my video get out there. And I would greatly appreciate if this video got to a thousand likes or more. If you haven't already, please check out my Discord, it will be in the description. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to jailbreak your PlayStation 4 in 2020. If you already know about the jailbreak, you can keep watching the video. However, this is for you new folks that don't know that there is a jailbreak for PlayStation 4. And this is a pretty cool video for 2020. So, basically, the most important thing is you're going to need your console to be on 505. If your console is not on 505, you can simply go on eBay or any uh, selling sites that you trust and get a old console and then update it to 505. If you're on 505 or less, like 405, 455, uh, you can update to 505 or you can just stay on those firmwares as they're also jailbreakable. And from there, uh, once you have a 505 console, you can uh, continue. If you are 505 or above, you cannot jailbreak as uh, these sites and uh, the remaining part of the video will not be uh, accessible to you. You can go to it, however, it won't actually do anything on your console. So we're going to need a newer kernel uh, exploit to have a newer jailbreak for like 702 or newer firmwares. So uh, first things off, if you just got a new 505 or less, first things off, um, you want to add this website to your uh, online service. Um, it will be in the description. This is a uh, website host, which is very reliable and uh, it should be very useful for you. And then there's a second option to make your user guide another website host, which I will show uh, the DNS uh, IPs for it. Both are very reliable. However, uh, the new one I've been using uh, seems to have less kernel panics, so um, which is good. If you guys don't know what a kernel panic is, basically it's just when the console just magically crashes and it's like a hard crash and you need to actually press the button on the PlayStation 4. And then um, basically it says it needs to check the storage. And from there, um, it's um, what you're trying to avoid. So I'd recommend uh, using the sites. However, if you want to use both, that's fine. I do still both use both. And um, they're both very reliable. So from there, um, basically, uh, the jailbreak for the Playton 4 is just a firmware exploit. So basically, once you're on the firmware, you're basically exploited. Um, it's not a permanent jailbreak. So um, once you turn off your console, pretty much you have to do everything over again. But there is a rest mode option where you keep the applications on and basically you don't have to do hen. Uh, as you can see in the beginning of the video, um, you might need to rewind it. Basically all my games were locked and they were not being able to play. Those are fake packages. To make those fake packages be uh, playable, you need to go to hen. Uh, any of the hens I believe would work. For the newer games, uh, you need to probably use hen point, uh 2.0 or more and um, you can simply play the games and that's pretty much it so once again i really hope you guys uh, could leave a like as well as a comment and uh, later part of the video i'll probably be talking about what you can actually do with a playstation 4 jailbroken all right i'll let you guys see that so for the rest of the video I'll be showing you guys what you can do on a jailbroken PlayStation 4. So basically what you can do is you can get free games. To get free games, a uh, link to the sites will be in the description. Basically what you want to do is get a fake package and then enable debug mode, which you see throughout the video, as well as my other videos for jailbreaking. And from there, you will get the game for free. And um, from there, um, I'll be showing you... Uh, me playing PlayStation 2 games, basically modding all the Call of Duties, modding GTA 5. You can also play Homebrew, which is uh, made by people and users. Basically, Homebrew is self-made uh, apps, not created by developers, and that's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, some good apps and uh, things get developed in the near future. Currently, we have some decent apps. And uh, I'll be showing you those too. Um, like I just said, there are some very cool mods for Call of Duty 
that's what I do. There's some very cool mods for Grand Theft Auto 5. Very good mod menus for GTA 5. Um, and uh, there is PlayStation 2 games. You can play any PlayStation 2 game on the PlayStation 4. Honestly, that should have been with the PlayStation 4. But for whatever reason, uh, I guess they didn't do backwards capability. But anyway, you're able to play any PlayStation 2 game. You can also put Cold Breaker into it. If you guys don't know what Cold Breaker is, it basically was like a cheat tool for the PlayStation tool. And then you can just mod the game for the PlayStation 2. Also, at the end of the video, you can play uh, PlayStation 1 games with emulators. Uh, you can also play emulators. You can play Nintendo games. You can play basically anything on the PlayStation 4. Uh, I didn't show this in the video as I'm not a fan of it. You can also put Linux on your PlayStation 4 and you can play Steam. I currently don't care for that as I don't have a mic. I mean a, a, a mouse and a keyboard for it. And I'm not really a, a fan of uh, PC gaming I guess. But you can play Linux and you can put Steam on your PlayStation 4. So you technically can play Black Ops 2. And some other games which you cannot play from a uh, PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 on here. But you can do some pretty cool things with Linux. And uh, yeah, so jailbreaking is very cool. If you guys are still watching, it's very cool and it's very easy to do if you have the right firmware. The only downfall is you can't mod online. However, um, you can do whatever you want with um, the campaigns. And it's just cool, you know. Uh, a couple years ago, I'm pretty sure, including myself, you know, was thinking uh, there weren't going to be anything, like, related to mods on the PlayStation 4. And then all of a sudden, boom, there's a lot of mods for the PlayStation 4, which is extremely cool. And one day, it definitely will be online. And um, hopefully, when the PlayStation 5 comes out, one of the devs will uh, release a further uh, release for a firmware exploit. And uh, maybe it won't go online. But it will get us closer to, uh, to uh, you know, more updated games and more mods and whatnot. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This took a while to make, so I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could like as well as like comment. And if you guys have any questions, uh, message me on Discord or on Twitter. All right, peace. I'm drunk, but shit, I ain't getting drunker. Franklin! Hey, what's going down? The market, my boy. Liquidity's a bitch.
Thank <laughs> you. 